<laughs> Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our presentation. Our presentation was a research task on consumer behaviour for Gen Zs um, in reference to Apple MacBook products. Um, the presentation itself will be carried out by myself, Oliver, um, Andre, and Otterbeck. Um, unfortunately, Jacopo won't be present presentation for personal reasons, so he'll be doing it himself um, for the social media part. Uh, so, getting started, at a brown we explored and how different microcultures use this product line. Uh, so, MacBook product line is a chosen example we went for uh, to gain insight from when it comes to how Gen Z audience interacts with them. Our uh, product line itself is a laptop produced by Apple, a company that primarily sells technology and software to consumers with a higher price range bracket than other retail brands, uh, for example, ASUS and Lenovo, that were examples that we could have went for in this presentation. Um, it should be noted that even though Gen Z's may be a product simile, uh, the buying influence and power will be different from peer to peer due to the demographic and financial status of that person. Uh, the different microcultures we explore in this assignment. So, what is a microculture? Um, a microculture is an identical subgroup in a society or group of people, um, especially one characterised by beliefs or interests at variance with those of a larger group. Uh, the different microcultures we explored are the following, which is reference group, uh, word of mouth, uh, social media, and inconspicuous consumption. Um, defining a Gen Z, it's important to define this because these were the uh, groups of people we were getting information from. So what is the Gen Z? Uh, at first, the generation that was born between 1997 and 2012, uh, which is falling of a millennial group. Um, research indicates that Gen Z is the largest generation in American history and constitute 27% of the country's population. Uh, various characteristics that play a part in the social norms, which is important for this, the digital narratives, uh, they're pragmatic and financially minded, uh, they're shrewd customers and politically progressive as well. Uh, moving on to the general information collected from them, uh, from a four, so 16 people interviewed in a questionnaire, 14 out of the 16 interviews belong to the Gen Z group, and only two people belong, uh, belong to a different group, which is a millennial group, who are 26, between 30 and 35. Um, the genders differentiated with 68% belonging to the males, and then the other 25% belonging to females. Uh, the reference group, the first microculture we'll be exploring in this. Uh, so your monthly income. Uh, the consistent theme throughout this reference group will be the correlation between money earned and a job title. Uh, the majority of job titles are under the student category, which basically means no income, uh, with some students picking up a part-time job on the side. Uh, this synopsis originally suggested that if you're a student, then you'll automatically be looking for a lower-end laptop brand due to a price range. If you've got a monthly income, a high-income household, then it will be suggested the consumer will be looking for using a MacBook instead because you'll be earning more money. Uh, the job title. As mentioned before, the um, majority of the Gen Z audience in this questionnaire were students, uh, which indicates 75.8% 75 75 of them were, uh, resorting to the consensus that a vast majority of students use Apple MacBooks as they go to. Um, this consensus also suggests that MacBooks are a go-to for Gen Z audience due to the laptop's interface and interconnectivity with the user's iPhone and iCloud software. Um, how much money do they spend on monthly excessive goods, uh, including bills, groceries, and loans? Um, allowing, the consumers to, allowing the consumer to express how much they spend on additional items each month shows how much they spend they don't actually need to. Considering the majority of consumers in the survey were students, and considerable um, amounts of them spend in excess of £300 to £1,000 a month on excessive goods, which is deemed to be a high amount. Uh, due to a MacBook being a laptop that is considered to be retailed in a higher price margin than other laptop brands, um, the two indicators correlate with each other. Apple MacBooks are relatively expensive, and a high number of students have additional funds to mean they choose to spend their money on the Apple product rather than a cheaper alternative laptop. And the final one for this reference group will be the combined annual income for the household. Um, so the correlation we're looking for, um, and this one was if MacBooks were used more by higher income households rather than lower earning households. Um, higher being anything above 45,000 per year and lower being below 10,000 pounds per year. Uh, the consensus was that 26.7 earned in the blue range, which was the below 10,000, uh, with the other 40% being in the higher bracket, orange to green, 
average anything above 45,000 to 75,000. Uh, by seeing if the consents, uh, by seeing if the consumers, households too prolate from using MacBooks, and um, we suggested for households who earn a high salary shop um, for MacBook products instead of other ones too. Uh, moving on to the social media side, I've mentioned before, Yakov will be doing it separately for personal reasons. Moving on to Andre next for his part of the reference group. Thank you. So, first of all, thanks. So, uh, when we were asked, uh, does anyone tell about the um, uh, Apple company before? The 75 percentage, as you can see in the blue part, uh, of the people we have interviewed said that they heard about uh, Apple company from the, uh, their family member uh, or uh, their friends. Uh, another 25 uh, percent in the red part said that they hadn't uh, heard about it, and it's uh, possible that they don't uh, even know that there is a such brand like an uh, Apple company. So, uh, influence. Surprisingly, only one uh, person didn't feel influence, uh, influenced by others when they uh, purchased products. Uh, in the research uh, task we carried, about, uh, carried out, uh, Gen Z's are open uh, minded and make an uh, insightful decision uh, when it comes to our product, uh, what they buy. Hence, why uh, being influenced. Uh, by others uh, is uh, uh, contrary uh, to our research. So, in the overwhelming uh, number of consumers in the uh, survey that the Asia felt influenced on uh, 37.5% uh, or influenced on, on uh, occasions 56.3% uh, uh, which was a higher number uh, than we uh, uh, intended. And this shows that people uh, celebrate uh, online media are f uh, factor, factors in influencing a younger uh, generation to purchase a product uh, that they may have a uh, considered not to purchase uh, beforehand. Uh, so, how did uh, you first hear about Apple? So, uh, this kind of question uh, was posed in a short question format which means uh, that the consumer uh, could type out how uh, he heard about Apple. Uh, we have accepted various uh, answers uh, which concluded that many uh, of them uh, have known about this product for a long time. For example, 70% uh, learned what Apple was in a, uh, 2003 and 2010. The rest of the answers were later uh, on in the uh, 2010s, like between uh, 2020 and uh, 2016, and the most recent was one in uh, 2017. It turns out that they all know uh, about the Apple company uh, for uh, uh, at least five years. Uh, so, when did you uh, first hear about Apple? Uh, this kind of questions, uh, we get the answers in this question, inducted. Uh, indicate uh, that the majority of consumers heard about Apple uh, at a different period of time uh, when the company started uh, emerging in the uh, phone market as a serious competitor. In uh, 2003 and 2007, Apple was uh, deemed to be a company uh, on the rise with a collection of I uh, iPod products being a fundamental, a fundamental building uh, block uh, in regard to bringing the company a different climax. Uh, the iPod was generational, hence while a large number of consumers uh, currently knew who they are uh, well, when the company developed the iPhone product line. Uh, Believing that it might further grow of the uh, Gen Z audience, I delight that, uh, that the first time they heard about Apple uh, was later on uh, 2008. So, thank you. It's the end of my part, and let me uh, give the uh, Andre uh, to start in the, uh, his part. 
Right, so in our questionnaire we asked, do you perceive Apple to be a brand that is more socially acceptable to use rather than other less popular brands such as Lenovo or Asus maybe? The results of our questionnaire has said that the vast majority, which stands at 43.8% of member consumers, perceive Apple as being a more uh, socially acceptable brand. Only 41.3% does not see Apple as a um, more socially acceptable brand and a quarter of our sample size does not perceive any brand as being more socially unacceptable. The majority of people that see Apple as more um, socially accepted brand correlates with, the, with uh, the results of our previous questions, which go over the advertising mediums and uh, seen by the consumers and the influence of social groups that has on their buying behavior. Um, and that is uh, linked with the, uh, what's it the influence of social media um, when making a purchase on Gen Z's. Uh, considering that a quarter of the interviews did not see other brands as being socially unacceptable, the majority of them are students, suggest that uh, students, considering that a quarter of the interviewees did not see uh, uh, any other brand as being socially unacceptable, the majority of them are students, suggest that um, a good proportion of Gen Z's would rather go, uh, would rather take into consideration functional, functionality and their needs rather than what is being socially acceptable. Next. Is brand, brand loyalty important to you? Uh, only 6.2% do not consider brand loyalty to be important to them. Uh, that leaves uh, the, that leave the majority of people considering functionality of a brand loyalty, which correlates with the previous results I said earlier, where a quarter of the sample size does not take into consideration social views when making a purchase. For 50% of the sample size, brand loyalty is an important aspect when, when making a purchase. Next. Has influence of celebrities, influencers ever enticed you to purchase an Apple product solely down to the reason that, that they own one themselves? More than half of the people questioned wasn't influenced by any uh, influencers or, or celebrities. The low percentage of pe people influenced by celebrities and influencers shows that Gen Z prefer to uh, make a purchase of a laptop, yet again, based on their preferences and likings. However, the influence of celebrities and influencers is still present in the Gen Z, uh, in the Gen Z category. Next. If you have a phone cover, do you care if it covers the Apple logo on the back of the phone? A very big percentage of people had answered that they do not care if the Apple logo on the back of the phone would be covered which suggests that the branding itself does not play a very big part of, uh, of the reasons why um, Gen Z's do make the purchase. However, there is a 6.2% that said they would be concerned about that. As an overall conclusion, Gen Z's get influenced by others when it comes down to purchasing a product. However, because of their uh, research skills, as well as accessibility of information, Gen, Gen Z will still, make to make, will still look to make a purchase based on their needs and their wants rather than what is socially unacceptable or popular. Although the results of our questionnaire suggest otherwise. Brand, brand culture plays a uh, commanding role in the Gen Z lifestyle choices, as said earlier, and MacBook product, uh, uh, Mac, MacBook, uh, product line that could be used by various income groups despite, despite their being relatively expensive uh, products. Thank you very much. If there is any questions, we'll gladly take them. Thank you.